Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him praise, give him honor, and give him glory. What the heck is going on? Okay, praise God. I don't know. It almost went off. I'm going to, I can't even see if somebody's on here. So um, let me know if y'all on here. Praise God. Praise God. Y'all already know. Okay, I'm starting to see people trinkle in. I know it's early. Well, actually, it's one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to wait till y'all get up on here. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah to his name. Today is actually the 10th day of the 21 day fast. It's really actually going fast, right? It's going fast. All right. So if you see my title, I'm going to go ahead. Almost 100 of you guys are on here. Look, speak it right. Okay. So basically, here's what's going on. Uh, I do apologize. I couldn't get on yesterday. You don't even want to know. I'm talking about police was involved. It was so much. Oh my God. It was so much. But you know what? I will. I will stay encouraged. I'm talking about my God, my God. I'm, I don't even want to glorify it. But it was a lot. It was a lot. It was too much. The enemy is trying to sabotage, but he can't. He can't. And that's the end of that story. So let me go ahead. Today is the 10th day of the fast. Praise God. Praise God. And I told y'all I would be done up on here because y'all already know sabotage is like, even my page, people are, you know, like, uh, but here's the deal. How you know it's my page, they cannot spell it like my page is spelled. Prophet is Deanna Dixon. They cannot spell it. So it's going to be misspelled. Do not believe the prophet liar. All right. Praise God. Praise God. So let me go ahead and pray. And I think that's the first thing want to do on here praise god y'all know i stay with my arm and um upon anything remember spiritual transfer so go ahead and you know always pray over your computer always pray over your every time you get on social media i don't care even if you're just listening pray over yourself i'm so serious that's very important i did that before i actually got on so let me go ahead and pray Father God, we just come to you, Father God. First of all, asking for forgiveness of anything we may have said or done, Father God. We repent to you, God. Oh, Father God, we just ask you, Father God, to come into this place right now. Send your spirit, God. Send your spirit, God. Send your spirit, God, because you can change anything. You can change anyone in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you for this fast because it is exposing. And also, Father God, it is letting us learn our weaknesses and our strengths, Father God, so that we can be strengthened, so that we can be effective, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare it to be so. Oh, Father God, I just thank you for everything that you're doing in everybody's lives, Father God. I speak healing. I speak deliverance. I speak prosperity. I speak peace, Father God, to everybody that's on this life and those that will listen, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare that they are mighty men and women of God. I don't care what the enemy is doing. I don't care who's doing it. I don't care what got closed. I don't care what got open. I don't care what got stopped in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He's still in control. He says, I'm the Alpha and the beginning. Is there anything too hard for me? I am God. I am Jehovah Jireh. I'm Jehovah Shalom. I'm Jehovah Makedish in the name of Jesus. I will supply your needs. I will keep you. I'll be a friend to your friends and an enemy to your enemies. Back, back, God says, I got this in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I know you're worn. I know you're torn. I know you're tired. He said, but I got this. I got this. If you just get out of the way, he said, just get out of the way. He said, just get out of the way in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and that's kind of hard when you've always been a go-getter or when you handle things yourself y'all know what I'm saying but God says he says get out of the way in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare to be so God. And I just thank you, God. I thank you because you love us. I thank you because you keep us. I thank you, Father God. Even when we're wrong, Father God, you'll make us right by exposing us to ourselves, Father God. And right now is the year of exposure, the time of exposure. Everything is getting exposed, God. Even people, right, wrong, indifferent, in the name of Jesus. But he says, Romans 8 28, everything worked together for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose in the name of Jesus. I just thank you got he says also in Joshua 1 8 have I not commanded you to be of good courage have I not commanded you to be of good courage and then you will make your way successful God says in Joshua 1 8 remember that scripture meditate meditate in this hour in the name of Jesus he says but you have to have good courage and good courage is sometimes just letting it go hallelujah I just thank you God I thank you that you're healing our families God I think that you're healing us God I think that you surround us father God with your peace the peace that surpasses understanding the world can't give it the world can't take it oh god i i, I send joy i i send peace 
prosperity, God. Strengthen their minds, their soul. I pray for wisdom and discernment over everybody that's on this call and those that actually will join or will listen to a re replay in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare it to be so. I just thank you, God, because no matter what the enemy tries to do, you keep us. No matter if we fall, you keep us. No matter if we stand, you keep us. You just are keeping God in the name of Jesus. You're going to be there. You say, I'm married to the backslider. I won't leave you. I won't forsake you like your mama did, your daddy did, your cousin, your brother, your sister. God said, I will never leave you for those that feel alone. And you are not alone, by the way. You are not alone. The spirit of God, and you got a whole invisible crew every angel come on somebody and then your angels in the name of jesus i decree and declare to be so hallelujah to his name just stay still stay still said god so father god i just thank you i said this prayer would not be hindered stopped or blocked but will accomplish what it was sent out to do in jesus christ of nazareth's name oh father god i decree and declare to be so and i thank you god hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus you know Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I, I'm going to expound a little bit more. Um, and I, and that's everywhere I go, and that's fine, from Louisiana to Sacramento. Because I remember even being in Sacramento and being attacked, attacked by witches and warlocks. So that's my portion, and I get that. That's my portion because of my calling and my anointing. And when I say surrounded right now, I'm surrounded by them. And that's why I couldn't get on her yesterday. It, I had to call the police. It was just... It was too much. And, and and they still doing the same thing this morning and today and, and trying to get a rise. And, and I'm going to be transparent. I rose up a little bit. Yes, I did. I was like, Lord, I'm only human. I love the Lord with all my heart. I'm, I'm not a volatile person or anything. But when you keep pressing, this has been going on for a month, by the way. You keep on pressing and pressing and pressing, you're going to get a reaction. Hallelujah. And so I had to ask God, 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 God. I could not get on here yesterday after all that happened. I was in another space. I'm not even going to lie. I said, God, bring me, bring, bring, bring it back, bring it back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. And and I know what the enemy is trying to do. I'm not stupid. That's exactly what the enemy wants. The enemy wants, I just said something. The enemy wants a reaction. But, but, and I'm not saying that because the Bible says, be angry, but sin not. So just don't go too far. Don't worry. I didn't go too far. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have self-control. I, I, I'm not going to let the enemy push my buttons. Oh, I just said something. The enemy tries to push your buttons, especially when you're fasting, especially when you serve God. The enemy tries to push your buttons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This stuff real. You get on the live, they start making noise. They start doing this. You start, oh, they did that in Abbeville. They did that in Sacramento. They did that in Orlando. They did that in New York. You understand me? So let me go ahead and tell y'all what God told me to tell y'all this morning. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So do you remember when they were capturing Jesus and Peter cut off the soldier's ear? I love Peter. Peter was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Y'all ain't messing with Jesus, right? Praise God. Praise God. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on, y'all. Guess what they did? They turned off the comments. I was wondering why y'all weren't commenting. They turned it off, y'all. Mm -hmm. I was wondering why I wouldn't see no comments. And I don't know how to turn it back on. I mean, I think I do. Hold on, let's see. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I think I got it right now. Oh, Lord. They be doing all kind of stuff, but I don't have time to worry about that right now, y'all. Praise God, praise God. So, anywho. So, the servant's name was Malchus. M-A-L-C-H-U-S. Then said Jesus unto Peter, put up thy sword into the sheath, the cup of my father, which had given me. I want y'all to listen to what he said. The cup, which my father had given me. You can't go through nothing unless God say, guess what? It's okay, but touch not her life. Touch not his life. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, so we may not like what we go through. Let's be real. Cause sometimes it gets a little antsy. Y'all know it's true. But God say, uh, he, he says, but my father, he, he allowed it. So if he allowed it, that means he gives you the strength to go through it. You know how the Bible says, I won't put too much on you. Then you can bear. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me continue. He says, should I not drink it? Because, you know, we always want just good things. But 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 God, sometimes God will allow whatever he allow. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, anywho, um, he says, 50, and one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And we all know that Jesus 
healed it. So Jesus actually performed a miracle in the midst of chaos. Oh, come on, somebody. That's it right there. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. And I am actually coming out of John 7, 21 with that scripture. Let me tell y'all what I'm, what I'm really got on here to say. In the midst of everything, your miracle act will actually happen suddenly, said the Lord. Let me tell you something. Everybody just, just, you have to be in expectation. You have to be in expectation, but hold on. You got to be ready. Have you ever had an opportunity that you wasn't ready for? Because God says in this hour, in this hour, in this hour, that there's going to be opportunities and you got to get ready because your miracle will happen suddenly. This is not just a, a word. This is a ream of word. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Your miracle will actually happen sudden, says God. But are you ready? Will you be ready, says God? Come on, somebody, hallelujah, this stuff is real. Praise God, praise God. So I want to encourage you today. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what the enemy's done. I don't care what he's doing. You got to stay on, just stay fasting and hold on. Even after this fast, you got to make this a lifestyle, a lifestyle of prayer, a lifestyle of fasting. I'm not going to say you're going to always get the mark. There are sometimes you're going to fall. There are sometimes things going to happen, but guess what? God said, continue to be strong in the Lord. God said, continue to serve me. God said, continue to call on me, continue to pray, continue to fast, continue to understand that I have everything in my hands. I want to see you. He said, I know the plans that I have for you to give you a great life so you that you can live abundantly. Abundantly is not just in material things. It could be in your spirit, how to handle things. When, 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 when the pressure gets too much applied, come on somebody, hallelujah. So I pray you got to understand in this season, pressure had, it has been applied. Oh, come on somebody. That's what COVID was. That's what the elite doing now, trying to make everybody take a vaccine. That's pressure applied. And when you get pressure applied, you need Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So you don't, that's why people you people are acting real crazy. Y'all know it's the truth. And so you have to ask God for self-control. Calm, calm my spirit down. Calm my mind down. Calm me down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You have to stay strong. You have to stay strong. Look how they be messing with my lives and, and, and I couldn't do my phone call. I mean, and I really liked it, those morning calls, by the way. You know, something because they, they got me prepared. But that's okay. We're going to just keep on doing what we're supposed to do. But I pray in the name of Jesus that don't be consumed in this hour. The enemy is trying to consume people with fear. We just thank you, Lord. I hear you. We're living in, in Daniel times as well. I just heard the Lord says, the enemy thinks to wear you out. Oh my God, that's real. The enemy thinks to wear you out because if he wears you out, you're going to respond and you're probably going to respond in a way that you shouldn't said the Lord. So guess what? You got to stay focused in this hour. Ton of vision. I don't care what they do. I don't care what they say. I don't care who they send. I don't care who watching me in my family and everybody else. I'm going to stay focused on God. I'm going to stay focused on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. So I just want to get hit hard on here. Um, pray. I may do Bible study tonight. I am really looking forward to it. I think I will. Um, but believe it or not, I, I know y'all going to be like, oh, my God, Apostle. But uh, I also, I don't know, I start my class tonight, too. Um, y'all going y'all gonna to laugh. Some of you going to laugh, but some of you going to understand what time it is. I'm actually getting ready to take martial arts. Hey, look, don't like the thickness food. I got skills. I got skills. I ain't playing. I'm serious. And because remember, I told you guys, I want you all to start learning self-defense. Well, guess what? Far runners, they go ahead of y'all and say, I'll show you how to do it. And so, you know, if I'm permitted, I will try to do a live. If I'm permitted, I don't know if I'm permitted yet. Right. Or, you know, just let y'all know what happened, how it's happening, how my progress is going, because it's martial arts slash self-defense class. So, hey, that's one thing I practice what I preach. I'm going to say that again. I practice what I preach. i say that one more time. I practice what I preach. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray that y'all understand that this is a serious time in the Lord. You got to stay strong. The enemy is trying to apply pressure. And it's okay because sometimes God allow it. You don't know why God allow things sometimes, but it's to push you into another part of your destiny. It's to put you, push you to praying like never before. It's to push you also to wisdom and discernment that you've never known. Because when you're in this type of warfare, you got to stay in tune. When you're in this type of warfare, you got to stay connected. When you're in this type of warfare, you got to fast and pray. You don't have a choice, said the Lord. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.